G'day comrade and welcome back to the Republic with me, JD. In our last episode, we managed to get meat up and running, which is very, very good, because the episode prior to that, we got wood up and running. So now I have wood to go with my meat, or meat to go with my wood. Either way, as long as you're stroking your meat or your wood, everything is perfectly fine. In today's episode, we have an awful lot of things to do. First thing I need to do is I need to take care of the gulag, because it turns out it's overpopulated. I know there are too many people in the gulag. We do have the um, secret police that could solve this problem. But that is removing free labor. I'd like to keep the free labor. I'd like the free labor to do, well, labor things. So I need to build a bigger gulag. We also need to have another police station because, well, it seems crime's got a little bit out of control, mainly because they won't all fit in the gulag. On top of that, we need to do something about our waste system because um, we have a small minor problem, itty bitty problem, tiny problem. And that is, well, it's starting to overflow or it's going to overflow eventually. Either way, I need to take care of it. We're also going to have the medical hospital of oh, the medical university up and running awfully soon which means, well, we need to jump to more research. And I have a whole bunch of training tracks to build, so there's an awful lot to happen. Which means I need to get the intro over and done with, and it means I need to ask that very important question. Of course, the very important question being, well, can I borrow a like? I just like to borrow a like. I like to borrow a like early in the video. If you're not happy with the video, you didn't enjoy the video, like I said, we have a new gulag going in. We could solve that problem for you. All right, uh, we're going to start, well, actually, with train tracks and with farms. So... I've already taken the liberty of extending the train tracks. Something's probably going to happen off camera more often than it happens on camera because train tracks are a little bit frustrating. But we have uh, three train tracks coming out here, also three train tracks going over there for the future. We are teeing them off here to come into an aggregate loading system that turns out already has construction happening on it. Didn't realize that part. Uh, along with, well, a conveyor. Uh, that's going to hook into the aggregate storage for coal, which means, well, we can have this being delivered via trains rather than the two trucks. Well, I have already told the trucks to get one last load of coal and then, well, they can permanently park themselves there. And as you're already done, you can become a construction truck. Good luck, sir. All right. Uh, the other one, once he's finished his job, he'll go sit there and then I need to remember to pick him up and send him off to do things. All right. The train tracks continue through here. They're going to take a slight left between Lichenstock and also Smograst. And I get to use the tunnel boring machines finally. And then come out here to where our waste treatment is. Because there is always a possibility I'm going to need to pick up this pile of trash with a train. So I want to have the train tracks out here. Also, mixed waste we'll get to in just a little bit, but um, I need to make sure that we have a backup plan before that fills all the way up. So I'm going to click that button, which will then approve all of that construction. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring up this tool and I'm going to say, don't do any of that. Uh, so oh, also don't do any of that. Yeah, I don't need that done. I don't need that done. In fact, I don't need any of that done. Uh, I just need the train tracks to come down here and then out that way, and then we'll work out the rest later. Yes, uh, also farms, farms, farms. That's what I had to do, farms. Okay. Last season, I think was a full season. I think we got a full season of planting in, and if we look through our farms, there's only one farm, one single farm, uh, this particular farm here, which didn't get planted. So that means if I have three distribution officers doing 19 farms each, well, doing a total of 20 connections, one of them being the drop-off spot, spot, that means that I got a grand total of 57 farms planted in the one season. I don't know if we can get the crops off all those farms, but I do know at least we got them all planted. Also, minimum fertility is currently set to 100%, but if I check the overlays and I look at fertility, a lot of them are up to 150 uh, now, that is probably because we had some crops last season, at least that's my intention, uh, that rotted into the field, which should increase their fertility. So I'm going to do two things. Uh, first off, I'm going to set this to, well, 99999, which means the max fertility is now 149%. And then we need to give it another season, see what happens. We're in June. Harvest is going to start very, very soon. Actually, according to our farm list, 81%. So as soon as you're done, you're going to be the first one harvested, and then we're going to see exactly how much crops we can get off the farms. So we need to look at that. Uh, next thing we need to do is I need to check in on, on my hardwood. Hardwood is perfectly fine. There's a little bit of hardwood there, not a whole lot, but there is a whole lot of wood in the forest, and a whole lot of wood has already been chopped down, so that should fill up fairly quickly. Uh, we do have this little fuel station is in and done, which means I need to set up your roads. I need to set this road to go that way. I also need to set this little two-way road to a one-way. If I set it to one-way, it means both lanes become an exit, 
and do the same here. Both lanes become an entry. And then I need to make sure we fill that up to 80%. And I need to find the free gas station and set that to load. So we empty the fuel out of there. Not that there's much left. Uh, but then we're going to fill this up with our systems. Uh... Okay, that says zero, and I think if I can get you another system, I will. Uh, can I get a oil tank uh, by total capacity? Well, that's the one we're using, which is 11 tons. You're also 11 tons. You're at 70, you're at 60, you're at 80. You're at 80, but you're nine tons. Uh, we're gonna get another one of those. And... I think you picked up fuel. I think you refilled yourself. But uh, that has fuel. That's all that matters. Okay, so this can be retired as soon as it's empty. I don't want to retire beforehand. And whilst I'm here, you're full. You have six free slots. You're full and you're full. Uh, we might preemptively uh, get that approved and done and set to zero. And that can just get done in the background. All right, uh, meat factory. We uh, have meat. Very important. We have meat. In fact, we are maxed out on meat. Now, we are eating this meat, which means no more buying new meat, which means we're now eating our own meat. It's very important we cover that. But I also have livestock here. I have livestock here, and I have livestock here. We could sell meat or livestock at the border. Now, I need two and a half livestock to make one meat. Two and a half livestock is worth around about 375 rubles, whereas one meat's worth 400 rubles. My catch is I would really want two distribution officers to sell meat correctly because I want to make sure that these guys, which are going to take meat to the freezers, are going to take meat out of here when there's nothing in there. So they'll take any meat they can possibly can. But livestock on the other hand, well, if this has any livestock in it, that means this is full of livestock. Also means the meat freezer is full. That's why this one's full. So what I want to do is I'm going to sell livestock. And you have 26 tons total export, which means 10% of that is 2.6 tons and 20%. Uh, can I set you to just meet Rusky border? Uh, no, don't load. Uh, actually, I want to do Vladivostok. Unload. Please don't select everything. I really don't like that. Okay. Uh, can I go from meat? 20% uh, is... 20% is... is 5 tons. 5 tons worth of meat. And you guys have all left going and picking up food and selling at the border. But livestock we carry 4.5 tons. So that should be fine. You guys are going to go off and all do one lot of sell all over the place. But then from there on... We should start selling off livestock, which is what I really want to do. All right, next on my list is research, it turns out. Uh, can I set you to 40%, please? 40, 40, 40, and also 40. All right, research tree. I got the medical university done last. The reason I got it done last, we looked down at the tech tree. White is medical, blue is technical. Uh, it's the one that we've been doing most of the research uh, with recently. And then the party headquarters, which is the first one we built, which we knocked through all the research fairly quickly. That is because blue research, there's an awful lot of it. Red research, there's not a lot. And white research, there's even less, okay? There is uh, hospital helicopters. Sounds good. We might get that eventually. There is citizen vaccine, because yes, you do have pandemics come through the Republic, which is something we're going to have to keep an eye on. There is heart attack prevention and stroke prevention, along with first aid aid education if i look at the general health of people i can see stroke or heart attack affected just 21 people it did drop their overall health by 54 percent which is bad so i'd like to fix that for some reason i have seven people starving i'm just guessing they didn't make it to um well go get some food uh, i also have 0.8 percent of my overall health is affected by 299 people that are drinking alcohol which is a bit of a problem because i don't have alcohol here in the in the republic uh, we do have alcohol, but we sell it directly at the border, and I don't let anybody drink it. So I'm assuming that it's being illegally smuggled in by the um, people from NATO. So that's a bit of a problem. But I do have 4,000 people that are affected by pollution. The good news is in the medical university, we can do uh, endurance, which will increase people's effectiveness against cold. 
also we can do vitamins which will um, reduce the effect of pollution we can all do also do increased birth rate which i understand decreased birth rate which i don't really understand and alcohol standards which we're going to need to you know stop people going and stealing our booze we're going to get the pollution one first and this is a very big building which means it has 50 professors which means we can max out research in a hurry next thing i need to do is in here i want to get pipeline pressure this is going to let me build a uh, bigger fatter pipes for you know important things like oil we do need to get an oil in fact our economy and trade this year our imports crops i'm not worried about because any crops we buy we're turning into profit steel oh, that's the thing uh we'll get to steel eventually steel is way down our list fuel is actually our next biggest contributor to the bill electronics way down the list mechanical components a lot of these are way down the list power is actually getting up towards you know the top of the list meat we just wrote off the list we don't have any of that anymore we're now making our own meat so fuel and power our next two big ones i sort of want to tick off so we hope to get to those in the near future don't forget if i'm not doing construction well then i make money like we're making money right now i'm, I'm constantly exporting resources without too much of a problem the only time i really have big expenses is when i'm doing construction which we're doing constantly and we can see this peaks where um, a little bit of construction happens all right speaking of construction uh prisons uh, we have too many prisons in here we're down to just 46 trust me i had about 54 in here also means that uh well you've caught up probably because all the prisoners were got um cycled through the system so what we're doing is we're capturing the prisoners we're sending the courthouse they're being prosecuted They've been put in jail and they're promptly escaping, which is a bit of an issue. Uh, so I need to fix that small issue. And I think the way we're going to fix it is by right about here, we're going to be putting in state infrastructure, a police station. Not a small one this time, a big one. Uh, and I want you to have your road lined up with this intersection. So you can immediately get off and go in either direction. And we're going to dump you right about there. Cool. I do not want this road. I want a stock standard dirt. That's the wrong one. A dirt road for right now because that's just going to make construction faster. Uh, and then I'm hoping that that footpath will go straight through. It will. Perfect. All right. So I want one of those. After I've got one of those, I need a new prison, which is also under state infrastructure. I want a gulag. I want a full-size gulag yes that size and i'm thinking this would look really good right beside the police station uh so we're gonna put you here perfect and you hello hello actually can i put you here uh T-R-R. Yeah, I'm going to set you a little bit further. Uh, it's almost in the same spot, but it's a little bit further back. Uh, can I put you there? Okay, can I cancel that footpath and bring any dirt footpath? Really? You don't have a dirt footpath? No, you don't have dirt footpaths. Wow. Uh, can I get a dirt footpath from there to there? Uh, okay, then I should be able to get a dirt road from there to... No? Okay, there to there. Uh, also going to need waste, so let's put a waste dump right here to cover both these buildings. And that's pretty much all I need. Uh, we do have a few problems. Uh, one of them being... That you have water, sewage, heat and power... Okay, and you have heat and power. Uh, so I need to get you some services. Uh, I will go in about that in just a second. Right at the moment, I just want to have these things, construction started, desperately. Uh, you are all research. Can I get against the cold? That sort of sounds good. And we're just going to crank up the research on that as well. All right. 
409 people without a flat. Uh, can I get that and that built, please? Low priority and low priority. Perfect. All right. So we need to get those built. I need to get this built as well. Uh, and then I need to go deal with the waste problem. So the waste problem... The waste problem. Okay. What we have here is we have all the waste comes in here. It then goes into the incinerator. It's then burnt. Okay. That's perfectly fine. It comes out here. Now, if it's ash, it's going to dissipate. If it's construction waste, it's not going to dissipate. And a little while ago, not too long ago, um, we had a small incident. Funny incident. Small earthquake, you might say. Which caused, you know, a few buildings, like a shopping center that may or may not have, have had wonderful people from the Republic in the shopping center at the time, where it suddenly fell upon their heads. And when that happened, I didn't really sort the waste at the time. Um, we just got it off the site as soon as possible so we could rebuild a brand new shopping center. Which means, currently this is full of construction waste. Now I have a couple of options. I could just take this waste that is contaminated and ship it over the border and sell it. That's perfectly valid, okay? We can just get rid of it. Well, that's one option. Second option is, under waste, I have general separation. General separation will take in mixed waste and then it will get out, well, some of the things that we can get out of it. So we can get construction waste, we can get metal scrap, we can get aluminium, and I can also get plastic waste out of it, even after it's been through an incinerator because the incinerator burns none of those things, okay? So in theory, they pass straight through the incinerator and end up in, well, this giant mostly ash pile. Now, like I said, the ash, ash dissipates, but, well, the other stuff doesn't. So what I want to do is going to be a little bit interesting, a little bit awkward, and a little bit um fiddly, but we should be able to do it. So what I want to do is uh, flip you, no, flip you, and then flip you. I'm going to put you hard up against this train track. Now, ideally, I'd use that factory connection. Um, and I'd need something to actually put a push or a pull on the factory connection. Like a bulldozer. Uh, like a bulldozer. Uh, like a forklift. But it turns out forklifts don't move trash. Um, we'll have to fix that later. Because, yeah, if I mark that for deconstruction, it's just dis going to disappear. So, uh, what I want to do is I want to have a nice, simple road... Through there. Cool. What I want to have is I want to have a simple road. And we're going to have a single vehicle move trash from here to here if this gets to, say, 80%. Some arbitrary number. Some arbitrary number, once it's that full, will move the waste across. Uh, then I also am going to need a general separation. And I want to put the general separation... Uh... conveyors um we're gonna put it here yeah and i want to move it as far back as possible uh but there's also a couple of things i want to do so i want to get a train track out of that waste dump onto that line and a train track out of there onto that line can I get a train track from that task? Oh, 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 that's exactly what I want. I want to be able to access that, that line as well. Okay, can I get a train track from here? Can I select here? Okay, can I go from here to there? Oop. Yeah, that's pretty much what I want. Uh, not really happy with that one. No, I... I, I, I said earlier I'd trim out most of the train track stuff. Uh, can I trim from there to there instead? Can I twist this at all? No? Okay, so what happens if I come back another notch? You just say no. Okay, so we have to go from here to research is finished. Alright, there to there. God, that looks horrible. Um... Okay, change my mind again. Let's go with the front one. Cool. Let's spaghetti begin. All right, uh, so I want to have that done. I also need to do the same here. I need you. Let's try the far one first and then do the close one second. That's not much better. Oh, that's uh, still not much better. Cancel. Uh, okay, we'll do the close one first. And then the 
far one second. That's what. I don't half mind that, but I sort of do. Okay, can I go from here all the way up to there? Okay, then can I go, no, from here to there? Like, it's valid. And that's what really matters. Uh, you also need the same. So you need to go to there and then... No. Uh, cancel. Sure. Sure, I'm sick of looking at them. All right. That means trains can come in from either direction to collect from both things. Okay, mixed. I need general separation. That's going to be important. Okay, general separation is going to come down here, and I'm just going to put a road right the way through. And at the same time, I'm going to mark that, that, and that for gravel. Cool. Can I get that graveled whilst we wait? Okay. Can I also mark that all for being built? This forklift run is useless to me. So we don't need to build that. Okay. Uh, I do need to get this road probably upgraded to gravel because we are going to have trucks on it occasionally. Or at least the very minimum, this join in here needs to be gravel because that's, I'm going to have a track going back and forth. But that can wait for the future. All right. So you are going to need everything. So you need power, you need water, you need sewage. And also, more importantly, you need workers. Now, workers. I have no hope of getting workers all the way across to there with paths. Well, that's not entirely true. I could probably do it. Uh, if we just get a measuring tape and we go from here to here to here to here, it is 500 meters. So the chance is actually pretty slim. If I moved that to about there, it's 407 meters. It's probably doable. But uh, my other option, which is what I'm going to favor, is we built bridges previously. What I'd like to do is I'd like to build a tunnel. And I want to put my tunnel... Uh, okay, look, underground. Okay, it's going to have to go... Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't know if you can go there. Uh, can I... No, okay. Uh, it's going to have to go here. Okay, so I want a tunnel entrance there. My tunnel entrance is going to need a path. On top of that, very important when it comes to tunnel entrances and exits and that sort of stuff, it needs to be hooked into a road because even if they can come in from this end, build the tunnel, and then build the entrance, they need to be able to access, the construction vehicles need to be able to access this end to then maintain it, otherwise it's going to fall apart. So I need to have an entrance there. I also need to have an entrance probably right here. Uh, as close to the building as possible. And right there looks good. We're going to throw a simple dirt path in there. And then I'm really going to hope that when we go underground and we go from the right, from the left to the right, let's do that. And I say, okay. And then I look at the measurements. That's 371 meters. Okay. If I upgrade you and you, uh, to gravel. Please reach. You still have to say 371. Like, it could be just the, this little bit of, uh, it could be this little bit of gravel road. Because gravel roads are so bad for them to walk on. Um, dirt roads, rather. So it still says no. Okay, uh, maybe we're going to have to do if I put you there and then I run you into there can I get a second connection yes 
there. Okay. Can I go underground and put back in the underpass from the right hand side to the right hand side and then uh, now we can reach. Okay. So we're going to pop you right there. That should be fine. That means we should be able to reach both. I sort of want to push you back in the front. It's fine. It's fine. We're going to dump you right there. Uh... It's like, it's so, if, if you build the whole thing and then they can't reach. Um, okay, cancel for pause. Let's put it here. Uh, the problem is a dirt road has a walking speed of 50%. So literally the tiniest bit can screw you over. Uh, can I do gravel from there to there? Approved. Underground. Uh, delete that. Can I go from there? To the approve and then you can now reach cool. uh now that's confirmed can i cancel that bit of road and fill it back in with dirt okay and now we can't reach is that that close all right so uh i want to build it without dirt first or without gravel first because that way uh i can We'll leave that one, and we will cancel that one. Uh, hello? Yep, cancel that. I want to do it with, with, with dirt first because I want to have vehicles in here. I want to have vehicles in here building this uh, because this is going to require an awful lot of work days, an awful lot of brick, an awful lot of concrete, an awful lot of steel, an awful lot of boards. I sort of want to have it done. All right, uh, so we need to have this running. After I have this running, this is going to be the best part, I also, well, you are going to process uh, general separation. So you're going to take in mixed waste. You're going to process out and pull out any construction waste, any metal scrap, any aluminium, aluminium, and any plastic waste. And you have your own internal storage buffers. Now, those internal storage buffers, I can just use those. I can also, uh, if we look on the outside of the machine, we have factory connections, we have conveyor connections. I can put things in separate uh, storages. I can't even do one better and actually hook up like a plastic recycling plant, a steel recycling plant, now you mean recycling plant, and actually start recycling stuff as soon as this outputs. But you're also going to output mixed waste because anything that's not construction waste, plastic, aluminium, or metal, plastic, aluminium, blah, 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 is just going to get spat back right out the back of the machine, which means I need another one of these. And I need to put you here. Oh my god. Okay, alright. Can I... Uh, it's under this. It's under depots. Road depot free. Dump you there. Where are... You move to there. You move to there. Uh, can I have that there? And oh, actually, I don't need that. I need that pinned, and I need that pinned. Cool. Uh, can I move you to here, and also move you to here, and then I can flatten out some area, and then I can build a stupid waste plant. Okay. So this is going in. This is going in. I still need to do power and water. Uh, power, water, sewage. Okay. Let's just very quickly, whilst we wait for the trucks to get here. Uh, if we look underground, everything's over there, so I should be able to do sewage. Number two, 11. It's all pretty flat here. Okay, so if it's flat, fluid, if it's flat, things should run perfectly fine. Uh, so I need to go sewage. Uh, oh, you're at the back. Okay, so can I put you there? Can I run a pipe? Uh, from there to there. Confirmed. And then from there to this switch. Building's in the way. Oh yeah, building is so in the way. Uh, okay, turn off F4. I really regret putting that there. Um, can I go to here? And then into there. Cool. You've got proper slope. I'm happy. Alright. Uh, can I then 
go with water. Uh, I want a water switch, and then I want a water substation flip, uh, and then water pipe from there to there, and then just very quickly underground you. Into, no, that's not nice. No, that's not nice water. That's not town water. That's all water. Uh, we're going to run into there. Oop. And that's one job. That's one job. Yes, yes. And obviously, yes. Okay. Can I grab... Uh, can I get all that stuff off my screen? Oop. Can I put you uh, that direction? And... Here. Okay. Yeah. The guys were so needed for that job. Definitely. Oh! That's right, we have a hill here. Uh, yeah. Can I... Get my builders. Um, okay, I can't take the train tracks any further that way, because I sort of want to at least flatten out part of this hill before I do the turn of the train tracks, so they'll have to wait. Uh, can I load you back onto there, and can I load you onto there, uh, and then can I just shove you guys back in your deconstruction cupboards, and you're both done. Okay, uh, the only thing I didn't do was I didn't do power. We're going to need a substation, which is going to go... Yeah, it works. Oh, yeah, it works. Uh, can I cancel road, remove that, and then once again underground? Can I get an underground wire from here to here? Yeah. Uh, okay, so we're gonna run into lots of things. Okay, so can we go to here? Can we go? Uh, first off, I need to turn off, oh, sorry, off, uh, three meters to, okay, so three meters underground to there, and then that happens to run directly across that, but, you can run to there perfectly fine, and then can't quite make it to there, but then we can go to there. Cool. Uh, is that one job? It is one job. All right. So, with all that done, we should be able to tell the construction crews to get all that built. Alright, so that should be everything I need. Oh, and I need you. Uh, we're just going to need a... Sure. And all that built. Okay, so that should be everything we need to get this up and running. Okay, I'm going to have to come back and fix up the paths and all that sort of stuff. Uh, you are going to have zero workers. You are also going to have zero workers because I don't need workers on these construction sites. You do need workers eventually, but probably not right away. Yeah, hopefully the workers are going to work at the jobs that actually require workers rather than being just dumped on them anything. Uh, can I get that done? And can I also... I have multiple asphalt machines now. Uh, yet, that done. I'm going to set you to zero workers. That way it's done with machinery. And that one as well. Uh, zero, zero workers. If I manually set them to zero, I'm guaranteed it's going to be zero. If I set it to low priority, it should have the same effect, but it's not a guarantee. All right, so that should solve that problem. Uh, research has already been done, and I need to pick the next one, which is going to be preventive medicine, which will get us into the heart attack stuff and the stroke stuff. Uh, and then you have also done your booze thing. I do want to get a few other things up and running. Uh, we're going to go for the gas power plant. Now, we're not going to be getting this anytime soon. But we might as well get the research done.
Uh, also, no, nope, we're still waiting for that to finish. When that finishes, we do have new tech options that I need to talk about. Um, you are full of fuel, and you are empty, so empty I can delete you. Uh, we now have lots of wood, which means we're now be deaf while well, we've already been filled up. Uh, as for the fields, we're in September, so we've got a little while to go. They are being cleared, but unfortunately none of you guys are doing anything. Um, because the combines are sort of working their way through the fields in the order that they were applied to. Like from the list, they work from the top down. And you guys were applied to the last farms. So this is something I might have to come back and play with more in the future. Uh, where is... Dude, construction train. You've done nothing. That one. That one. That one. That one. Now you're off and about. Okay. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Uh, this is built at least. We have plenty of coal. You have also finished your route, so we're going to park you. Wow. There. Uh, can I also get that done? Uh, super low priority. Really? Wow. Okay. Can I get high tech prevention? All of it. Okay, stroke or heart attack is 19 people, 52%. We'll see what happens after that research is done. Alright. Uh, I can upgrade you to gravel. Uh, I can up... I don't need that anymore. Uh, we don't need that anymore. I can also make sure that all of those are gravel for five reasons. And we can set you to 0%. Uh, I'm going to turn you on auto find. And... Zero. More zeros. Uh, one, just in case that matters when it comes to auto search. Because these will get auto search because they're not accessible right at the moment. Because uh, the road is waiting to be upgraded. Uh, that and that are both being built. And what else do I have to look at? Uh, I don't want to check my livestock. So we still have a lot of livestock in there. But no trucks. What are you doing, sir? Selling livestock. What are you doing, sir? Food. Uh, for us to eat. You're selling livestock. You're selling livestock. You're also selling livestock. You're selling livestock. You're moving around our meat. Uh, you're moving around our food. You're selling livestock. And you are moving around our meat. So now I'm curious. How much? Let's go with this year. 300 tons. Come. Oh. And six tons, because we sold one truck worth, because things got auto approved. Uh, can I put in. Maybe one more is all we need. Maybe. Go by bricks, yes, because underground bridges are expensive on the bricks. All right, uh, this is all going in. You still need some time. All right, so whilst we do that, uh, plumbing, I haven't done you. Okay, can we get plumbing? Um, can I get number no, uh, number two? Can I grab the series switch? Uh, and I want to put a sewage switch here, uh, at 5.7 meters. Then I'm going to put you here at 5.9 meters, and you're built at 9. You're so close to being built. Can I do that tiny bit of road? But it's high grade. 
actually, I can do that kind of road as well. Uh, also a high priority. And I need to set some filters on this, which give me two biological. We'll throw in a metal scrap, we'll throw in a plastic. And I'll throw in a third biological. And you're waiting on one more truckload of bricks and boards. And then you're basically done. And I never set you up a path. Uh, you need a path around the back of the prison to here, right up against the fence line. So that way we know where we need to go to throw cigarettes over the fence. Cool. Um, all right, switch. Uh, beside the switch, I'm gonna want a sewage tank. And let's put you there. Okay, so the plan is here. We're gonna go to, oh. Plan is here to take that, uh, take that and demolish it. And then rip out that footpath. And then put it back in case in the correct direction. Uh, T, cool. Our plan is gonna be, take sewage from there to there. Then I wanna take sewage from here to here. And I wanna take sewage from there to this one. Works for me. Cool. Uh, 5,000 white face worth. Okay, that's fine. We'll book it done. All right, I want to get all of that built because we need a sewage here. We also need water here, uh, which means, uh, can I come back above ground? I need to put in a water switch. Here I, uh, here I guess. And then I can put a substation here beside it and then plumbing, big fat pipe. Uh, that's the easy part. Copy that. Because I remember we didn't have any water connections left. So I have this, which we're not really tapping off. We're still tapping off this one, which goes every different direction. But one of them goes to here and then goes all the way over to here. So before it goes all the way that way, I want to put in a switch here. And that way I should be able to come, no, uh, no, not footpath, pipe. I want to go pipe. Yes, pipe underneath all the electrical. Ooh, here. And then from there into there. And then from there into there. And that should give me extra connections. And uh, can I remove that and swap you in for a dirt path? Okay. We got all of that built too. And those dirt paths, it turns out. And these are coming along very slowly because they're, with all my many construction trucks, I don't have enough. Prison's built. Okay. Uh, can I see it as zero workers? So I need to make sure that you are hooked up to our distribution office being there. Uh, you are then going to get filled up 70%, which looks like 80 and 20. So I need to go 80. Uh, sorry, uh, 80, 20, and then, whilst we're at it, I want to put that road in there, our uh, highest priority as well. Okay. Because currently, hopefully there's no wardens there. Yep, hopefully. Uh, Gowish container is overfilled. I know, and nobody can access it. And you should really have zero workers. Solved. Uh, at least until these are done, which you just had gravel show up. And you have a bus on the way. Uh, you have a dump truck on the way, which has 5.8 ton worth of gravel, and you need 5.7, perfect. Uh, you have two vehicles on the way. So you have a bulldozer coming, plus you have two dumpers. You're carrying, or you're going to carry, 10 tons, and you're gonna carry another three tons. Okay, so that should be everything we need there. I do wanna put, no, I do wanna do, oh crap. Sort of should've upgraded that. Okay, can I upgrade? that part. 
Yeah, I can't use that for that. I can drag it out this way, but realistically, I should have taken it through here before I built any of this. This to be exact. Uh, okay, so as soon as they're done, we should be fine. There is so much construction to be done. Okay, and how are we going over here? Uh, you need 40 more tons worth of steel. You're built at least. Okay, if you're built, can I do even more graveling? So we're gonna gravel right through there. I'm gonna apply both of those. Oh boy, uh, you. Uh, I need to make sure that you're plugged into something. Works for me. Okay. Uh, yeah, because uh, if you're not plugged into anything and we have a fire, that would be really bad. You're still technically not plugged into anything and the chances that a series discharge lights on fire is pretty slim, but you never know. You don't know what kids do these days. I uh, can I set you to zero workers and... Prove everything. Yeah. Uh, so you need steel. A lot of steel. Uh, you need three trucks worth of steel. You have crane, 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 bus, bus, bus. So my steel's somewhere else. Uh, can I set you to high priority? Um, it's probably all coming here because this is a closer construction job. Uh, speaking of other things, can I get that done? So we halved the amount of people with stroke or heart attack. Starving has increased. I'm not sure why starving has increased. Um, I think it's this. If there are people at the front of the shop, it blocks resources coming in through the back of the shop. Don't question it, okay? This is just how riots work and there is a solution for it. It's not a good solution. It's not a solution I'm happy with, but there is a solution if we have to go down that route. At the moment, it's not really a problem. Starving eight people. Uh, lack of meat, 36 people. Not really a problem yet. It could be in the future, but it's not now. Uh, can I set you to government loyalty of 40%? And missing wardens, one prisoner escaped, perfect. Uh, can I set that to get built? And... I don't really want people in here. Uh, no, I don't want cultural enjoyment. We don't want that. We want Soviet propaganda. Uh, you don't need enthusiasm for sports. You need more propaganda. You need less sports. Eh. I'll do. Alright, uh, whilst we are waiting on a whole bunch of things, can I actually, speaking of propaganda, uh, jump through the propaganda hoop. So, Red Star Monument. Uh, we definitely want one of these. I think as people come into gruel factories, uh, they should definitely feel patriotic about the gruel that they're making. So, can I get one of those thrown in there? Uh, we're just going to tell you to get built. We're going to set you to low priority. Cool. Uh, I think the other place one of these would be very good would be a Soviet emblem. Yes, definitely. Uh, in the construction area. I think this would be brilliant. Uh, we'll put one right, ooh. Ooh, I like that, right there. Oh yeah, uh, can I put that in there? With a dirt path as well. Uh, we're gonna set you to low priority and set you to be enabled. You're also enabled. Uh, okay, um, this is somewhere else. In the construction, in construction. I feel like the Republic should have construction. Yes, uh, a different Soviet emblem. Actually, can we go with the, the concrete emblem? Perfect. Uh, can we put that right there? Yep, all the lovely workers are gonna be very proud of that right in the middle of their construction zone. Uh, we should also definitely put something near the police station. Um, oh, oh, actually got just the thing. We're gonna get the eternal flame right outside the prison. Right outside the prison facing that one. So much better, Jerry. Yeah, building's on fire. See, I was just talking about that. Uh, can we set you low priority? Building is a power transformer. 
Well, the fire truck's right there. Let's see if that goes down. Uh, all three of these wires go down. That's bad. That's why we try and build redundancy. This has no redundancy yet. Uh, what it does have is the fire being put out. Okay. And the underground part seems to be done. The above ground part, less so. Okay, that's some stuff dropped off. Oh, that's not done, so I can't gravel it yet. Cool. Alright. Uh, you have an internal flame. Do we have... We don't. Uh, can we get right across the road from the church then? Can I also get a... Yeah, the Tara Shevenko monument. I think that's how you pronounce it. Shevenko. Yeah, it's a poet. I had to look it up. Uh, that feels somewhat fitting. Right outside the medical university. Uh, which is also done its research. No, it hasn't. 91%. Uh, okay, so... I don't think we need to add propaganda. Like we've got one here. Got one here. We've got one here. Farms? The farms. The farms. Uh, there's nothing better than toiling on the farm all day for the Republic. Oh! Oh! Lenin would be so proud. Uh, can I put a Lenin... What's the range on Lenin? 90 meters, 70 meters. No, it's not going to be far enough. Um, look, if we can't get a Lenin, how about a red star? Like, right in here. Oh, oh, you went green. I saw you. I saw you. Right there, right there. Beautiful. Uh, can I plug that in right there? And we're going to make a red star right there. That way, as... That helps. Uh, as people travel down the highway, they can see the red star in front of the farms. That way we know it's definitely a Republic farm. Okay. Um, you. You, rather. Not quite finished. All right. You're going to have to be finished in the next episode. We just are not going to have time. As for our train tracks... You are so lazy. So lazy. So slow. That's why I wanted to start them off right at the start of the episode. Turns out he still spent half the episode doing nothing, but we're getting there slowly. Uh, he should have this hooked up by the next episode. We have 900 tons worth of coal, so we should be fine. Uh, stop production. Oh, it's that heating plant. Yeah, again. Oh, no workers. Okay. There's the workers right there. Uh, you. Build. Uh, high priority because it means actual people. Um, okay, so we might need another bus through there. Or that bus was just a little bit behind. All right. Uh, one thing I do want to do is, as we approach 10,000 people, and also we approach winter, how is food? Uh, crops. So, oh my god, there's 200 tons on most of these farms. There's 300 tons. Okay. Uh, so, we have a couple of these that are not harvested yet. That's all right. I still have three weeks, roughly. We don't start... The crops don't... It doesn't start snowing until the 23rd of November. So I have a little bit of time. Not a lot of time, but a little bit of time. But there is no way we're going to pick up like a thousand tons of crops from just this little area. Uh, so I need to do a couple of things. Uh, one, you're currently doing 19 farms. We need to change that. We need you to do way less farms. Uh, we also need to definitely put in another one of these guys. Uh, we're going to end up having you guys... Come on, I need you hard up against the other building. I need you to look like you're one giant building. I don't think we can, because I think there's going to be a bit of grass in the middle. But I'm going to do my best. Okay. Uh, cancel road. Uh, can I get a dirt road? The finest quality dirt, please. Uh, actually, 
Okay, we're going to batch start you. We're going to also start start you. I have bulldozers. I don't have dump trucks, but I have bulldozers. Uh, okay. We're going to start that getting built. And then hopefully this will still be approved for construction and a title of building offices, even though it's not passable yet. We do have 6,000 tons of crops, but yeah, uh, I obviously need to, rather than you guys doing 20 farms each, probably cut the number back slightly, possibly. Um, I also, as soon as winter hits, need to well, asphalt some of these roads because we do have some of the trucks are capable of running 80 kilometers per hour. Uh, gravel is limited to 60. Well, the ones that can do 62, they're not going to get much of a speed boost, but the ones that can do 80 are going to get a speed boost. So I think it's worth it. Um, that and asphalt's really, really cheap. All right. Uh, you are done. Great. Can I set you to 70 wardens? Uh, that way the prisoners stop escaping. Okay. You're going to be up and running in the next episode. You just need police cars. We can get you a bunch of those. I like the blue ones. What are we having the old police station? The Tarry 601. Hey. Yeah, that sucks. You, show me. Okay. Thanks. VB. VB is a beer here in Australia. Uh, I think we're going to paint you guys blue. Uh, and I think we're going to organize a whole bunch of blue police cars here as well. Uh, can I get, I like the F-125. The S-100 GM, no, I don't really like the black ones. We'll save the black for secret police. Uh, we're going to go with eight of those guys. And we'll set you to 20. And that way you can run as well. This still needs to go in, which means technically... Technically, you don't have sewage. But only on technicality. Uh, you also technically don't have clean water. Uh, but that's just a case of... It's being delivered via truck. It has that truck tang to it. You know that tang you get sometimes when you're like... The difference between a, a, a can of pop or, or soda, depending on where in the world you are, or a, a bottle or a glass bottle. Have they got a different tang to them a little bit? Yeah. Uh, can we get first aid education? All right, so health has not changed at all, but we have less people having stroke and heart attacks. Uh, pollution has not really changed at all either. And neither is drinking alcohol. Cool. Uh, so far, the medical university has done nothing to it for us, but it's pretended, and that's half of what we do here in the Republic. All right, uh, we're going to have this up and running next episode, not this episode. Uh, you guys are done, which does mean I want you to no longer go to burn trash, and I do want you to go to here and here, and I want you to load... So I want you to unload to here, 100%. Mixed waste, and I want you to load only if this is over eighty percent mixed waste. Cool. So when this gets very full, like right now, we're gonna take the idiot's idiot's about just six tons from there. We should take this down just a little bit, the tiniest amount, and over to there, and then drop this off, and hopefully. It is 50% construction waste and a whole bunch of ash. The ash should, should disappear over time. Uh, but there's winter. So uh, I have gone on for long enough. We'll have to play with all this in the next episode. We also need to hopefully get some more train tracks done in the next episode and do many things about the farms because um, we have so much crops just rotting the fields. Which sucks, because next episode, I also plan on adding liquid fertilizer, which will give us even more crops. We might need two of these buildings. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, but I'm going to leave this here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you, well, in the very next video. All right, that's it. We're out. Bye.